My name is Melissa Nakomo. I'm a mindfulness practitioner and a wellness director. Movement has always been a part of my life. It's also been medicine that's been prescribed to me from my mom from a very young age. In times when I wasn't feeling well, emotionally, physically, energetically, she would always recommend that I move my body. We immediately think of movement as like fitness or working out or being fully able-bodied, but a deep breath is movement. It's this movement of our inner world. Paving the way is terrifying. <laughs> it means pressing up against the boundaries of your own being. It's having courage to really test yourself. It's the practice of self-trust, self-development, because if you don't trust yourself, if you're blazing the trail, there's no one in front of you as a reference guide. There's no one really to turn to. You might have people to your right and left, but at the end of the day, if you're at the front of the line, it looks like a very lonely place because there's no one in front of you to guide you. This practice of movement, mindfulness, slow wellness as I guide through Kunye is really important for Black folks because we exist in a world that tells us who we should be, how we should behave, what we should look like, and all of that is not within our control, but being connected to how you feel in your physical body, how you feel in your experience is within your control. I recently opened Vancouver's first Black-owned Pilates studio in 2022, and so as much as I want to commend the evolution since 2020 of awareness of Black culture, of BIPOC folks, of diversity, equity, and inclusion. The fact that I'm still achieving first at this point as a Black woman says to me that we still have a long way to go, even in a city that's as evolved and dynamic and diverse as Vancouver. I still show up to classes. I'm the only Black woman in a class. I've never been led by a Black teacher in Vancouver. I'm the only Black teacher that I know of in Vancouver teaching clinical Pilates or yoga or any of these sort of modern mindfulness modalities. This is the home, the community, the experience that I wish I could have found, but I couldn't find it, so I created it. This is the embodiment of what I hope to see many, many studios replicate in the future beyond the aesthetics, beyond the the classes, it's the community and the embodiment of our values. We're about what we say we're about. We walk the walk and talk the talk. That's what this space is about. It's practicing what you preach.